Hey, Lazy Girl Approved fam, I'm back today with another wig review and it is my birthday, so that makes it even more special. I had a stressful day today with uh, Xfinity Internet trying to get the internet working in my studio. They have to come out tomorrow. So um, when I record videos, that's my like, uh, because it's like my creativity uh, side of me gets to come out. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't usually do anything crazy for my birthday. So we're going to go to breakfast tomorrow morning and I got lovely presents from my family. And to me, just having my family and this wonderful house with this land that is peaceful, that's presents for me every day. So um, let's take a look at this beauty. It is Zuri Sis Nadia. And it's in the color FFT Ginger Light. It looked gorgeous on the website. So I figured I would give her a try. Um, I believe, oh yeah, I did order her in the FFT tie-dye. It's just literally, <laughs> it's supposed to come tomorrow. It was supposed to come yesterday and they sent it to another state back to another state back. I don't know what the post office is doing, um, but we will look at her in FFT Ginger Light and then in a couple days, we'll look at her in FFT Tie Dye. So let's get her out of the package and see what we're working with. These colors are not disappointing. Here is the card. And that's the one we'll do in a couple days. They were out of stock of it really quick, so. I had to wait for them to restock. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh my. All right, so she's got two combs in the front. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even notice she was 13 by 4 pre free parting space. Two combs in the front. One in the back. That is, that makes it even better. So let me get a wig cap on. Oh, this hairline looks, wow, lovely. Um, Let me get a wig cap on, get this lace cut off, and we will put her on my head. I can't wait to get her on my head. I cannot wait. And for those of you who do not know, this is a Lazy Girl Approved. That's the name of my channel. That's me. Um, and so the point of my channel, um, because I am disabled, is that if it's not easy, it's not Lazy Girl Approved. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Um, so while there are certain things I will do, I'm not the one that's going to do all sorts of crazy stuff. If you can't just do simple things to it out of the package, then it's not for me. <laughs> uh -huh. My face always tells whether I like it or not. Like, and when I really like it, y'all know, I know, you know, um, I did leave the baby hairs on. Let's see if we can brush them in to the hair or if I need to cut them off. I'm like, happy birthday to me. I think we have a wig to wear to breakfast tomorrow. Oh my. Oh, if this is not fall and glammy fall at that, I don't know what is y'all. Look at her. Oh, wow. Okay. So I had a good feedback from one of you guys that you want to know up front if it is big head friendly or not, because if it's not, then you, and you have a big head, then you can't wear it. Okay. She comes down to the bridge of my nose. So she is absolutely big head friendly. I figured she was cause I can feel in here that there's room, but it doesn't feel like super loose with this. I have a wig grip cap on. So that does, you know, help keep it where it's supposed to be, but it is really, it's like perfect. It's not stupid tight, but it's not so loose. It feels like it's going to fly off my head. Oh my God, she's stunning. Okay. So I know some of you are going to say I should not comb it, but 
I'm going to, I need to at least finger comb it. Let's start there because it's just too like tight, tight together. Um, you know, like when you curl your own hair, you, well, sometimes we do leave it in that tight curl, but I prefer to have it. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more spaced out, um, spread out. I don't know what you want to call it, but like right now to me, it looks wiggy like this. Um, this is kind of what I'm going for, but I don't want to ruin this either. This lovely, and that's usually what happens when you try to comb through it is it ruins this little curl and then it won't stay, but let's see what we can do. <laughs> let's see. She's absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. And that free parting space is glorious. Oh, that's not. Let's see what. The, oh, hold on. That's not great. It shouldn't just be so obvious. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. I've never seen that on a parting space where it just kind of. It's almost like it has a bald spot, but it's not. It's just that it's all falling forward. That's not great. Okay, so let's let's see what we can do because I don't know about you, but I don't like a big bald spot on my freaking head. That's not cool. Okay, so let me do this. I'm going to take this wig cap off. Um, I have a dark one, but I'm just going to put this back on and see what that looks like. Because sometimes you just are going to have to put a darker wig cap on so that it, you know, that doesn't happen. Sometimes that's just the way it is. Um, so that, let me put it where it's supposed to be. So that helped. Now there's not a giant bald spot, but it's still kind of, and I, I am familiar with uh, free parting spaces. I've had quite a few and I am going to comb through this with a wide tooth comb real quick, just to get her, I'm not going to comb through this part though just over here. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. Cause I'm all thrown off by this, that bald spot. <laughs> like what? You do not want bald spots around here. The whole point of most of us wearing a wig is cause we have natural bald spots. <laughs> We're not trying to have a wig with bald spots. That's crazy. And I will say there's this weird, like, it's something they did with this free parting space that's just not sitting right. It's not, it's wanting to do weird stuff. Okay, I am going to brush through this because it's driving me crazy. It just looks fake. It needs to be a little, there we go, a little muted. I don't know what a better word is, but I love these pieces and I hate them. I have a love hate relationship with them because they're great when you leave it alone and let it do what it's meant to do. But if you try to brush through it, it won't stay right. She is gorgeous colors. Um, I switch back to my iPhone so that you guys can see the more realistic colors. So what I'm seeing on the screen is what it looks like in real life. Um, there's like this orange, orange stripe here, and then there's darker oranges and almost like coppers. And they did really well with this root. I think, I think they did a good job with that. Um, she is free parting. So let's just kind of play with her. 
because I have a feeling like I like my my parting space on one side and I have a feeling she'll you know have different looks depending on where you part her so let's try that I like that I like that oh yeah baby oh yeah <laughs> She's absolutely gorgeous. She's definitely shiny, but it's not... I was a little tangly. It's not too bad. Like, I think if you just play with it with your hands and put some heat on it, um, it's kind of reducing that shine. You might want to throw some or spray some dry shampoo on it, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, the feel of it is, it's soft. There's definitely some texture in there, but it's soft. I love her. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I think you guys can tell when I like her because then I forget like what I'm doing. So I'm like, what do I have to look for again? <laughs> what am I telling you guys except I love her? I don't know. Um, she's absolutely stunning, y'all. Just, woo! Wow. Mm. Our neighbor, lovely neighbor, you know, the motorcycle shooting guns one, bought a, or, or rented a big container, one of those, like, containers you put for on a site when you're about to do construction and so every time he throws something in it it sounds like gunshots but it's not um i'm hoping whatever his construction is is not loud um i hope he's just like getting rid of trash or something y'all <sighs> life of being a human i guess okay <laughs> So this is what she looks like with a little, just a tiny bit of, you know, just nothing really, not much really. Um, you could continue to, or I could continue to play with her um, just to get her, you know, cause she's got so many curls just to get her how you want, you know, I personally like this to the side that's the lovely thing about free parting space some people like it in the middle some people want it on the side and you can do whatever you want with a free parting space so um and i'm glad i left those little baby hairs on there because it looks more natural to me because if you've seen any of my videos i've <laughs> talked about i have you know my baby hairs are basically just breakage of my hair from you know heat styling or being in a ponytail or whatever. So it kind of looks like I just have natural little breakage here. The knots, I mean, they're obvious if you get close, but they're not the worst. I've seen way worse. They're not like super dark, but you could, you could spray some lace tint on there. I haven't found a lace tint yet that I feel like doesn't give it an orange tint, no matter what shade. I feel like it's always got an orange tint. So I only use lace tint spray when, when I feel like I really have to, where they're like so obvious that it's horrible. So I'm not going to put any lace tint spray on it. I think she's absolutely stunning. Um, let's get a 360 of her and then go from there.
Okay, so I went back and looked at that 360 and there's like a spot in the back that looks really weird. I know my ponytail is like a big pony back there right now. So let me... Oh yeah, it's kind of like matted. That's not cute. Yeah, I think they just... Something went wrong with this... Uh the um where the closure is and the, the th 13 by 4 it's like they just I don't know something happened and like the hair is on the wefts right under it so the let's see where the cap so the closures here and then the wefts under are just I don't know like they need to be they need to be straightened. I am not trying to do that right now, but because that is not lazy girl approved. I mean, look, it's not a big deal to do it, but it's my birthday. I'm not trying to do this, but for you guys, I will because so you would have to make sure that this piece. So see that it's something to do with the closure and the there's that bald spot. And then you have to make sure that that piece of hair is coming over that whatever that raggedy thing is, that raggedy part. But if you do that, then, you know, you have that bald spot, which is not as obvious as if you have a dark cap on. But look, what is that? Sorry, sis. You guys in your weird like it's so they're it's like that circle moon crap again just I don't know what what it is with their and yes I know 13 by 4 blah 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 but I just feel like they didn't do a great job with it now that that could look like a more realistic hairline right but all right so let me do this I'm going to straighten that part that those pieces and see if that helps. It just looks really thin too, right there. Like you can see the wig cap under. So let me go <laughs> fix this and see what she looks like. I'll be back. Okay. So I straightened it and I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Um, so, So it did help a little, but I literally had to go like layer by layer and straighten it. Um, that's not lazy girl approved. So uh, she is absolutely gorgeous. She's super glam. Colors are amazeballs. Um, but she is not lazy girl, unless you don't mind that that's kind of looking like that in the back. It's also really thin in the back. Like I am just touching it and I can see the wefts. So you will have to make sure that you pull some of this hair, you know, pull some of this hair to cover it. So I, I, um, I can't say she's lazy girl approved because you will have to do something. Um, the only way she's lazy girl approved is, is if you don't care if people see your wig cap through on the back. I don't care that they do. I just think it looks bad. So that's interesting. <laughs> Ew. <clears throat> uh. So she's going to need some coconut oil. That's probably from me straightening the top part. <clears throat> Ugh, she's getting tangly. Hmm. I don't like that at all. Um, so bring a brush with you because it looks like she's going to get a bit tangly. Yeah, it's brushing in and it's pulling the wig off. Okay, so she's, yeah, wow. I'm super disappointed. I was in love with her. Now, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so anymore. That's just, it's 
so thin. You've got all this freaking hair up front and then this what what are you doing Zeresis? I had this same problem with their Pally Ginny Surrey um that it's just too thin in the back. So so you have to they didn't do the closure properly first of all because the way that it shows that bald spot and then you basically have to pull a bunch of hair um, over this back part. So if I leave that there, let's put it on. I'm trying to leave it, leave that hair back, whichever it was. So you have, you basically have to put it like this, where this hair is back. Because now it has enough to cover it. But now it's kind of, I don't know. It's making it more tangly and I don't know. And I don't think it's going to stay that way. It's going to try to come back forward. So um, she's absolutely stunning. She's not lazy girl approved because you have to do stuff. And she's going to tangle in like five seconds. I was going to say I'm going to wear this to breakfast in the morning. But at this rate, I do not because I'm not I don't want my birthday breakfast to be me farting with my hair the whole time. So um, I will have to um, give you guys an update when I do wear this and see what happens. I want to love her. She's absolutely stunning, but there's these drawbacks. So just know she's, she's gorgeous, but you're going to have to do some stuff to her. Definitely going to have to put some coconut oil in to keep her from being frizzy. You're going to have to probably hairspray her so that this stays back and it doesn't show your wig cap. Um, the free parting space is great, but you can't, you can't do with it what you want, which is for me was to go this way because you have to pull it back that way. Um, but it does make the hairline look more realistic. Um, but that this way, the knots do show way more. So there's that. Um, yeah, so I love her, but I'm not in love with her, <laughs> if you will. Um, she's not my permanent boo. <laughs> she's my side, my side chick. <laughs> Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, again, she's big head friendly, which is a, a bonus. She's textured soft. Um, she's going to tangle like a mother because I haven't really done much and she's already like, yeah. So for the price that it was, um, the quality I don't think is where it should be. Not that it's super expensive, but compared to other wigs in this price range of this style and all that stuff. Yeah. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, and as always, thanks for hanging out with me and spending time. And I will see you again soon.